All right, so the fight is now underway. On one side, you have a fighter who does everything well, taking on a true grappler on the other side. It's going to be interesting to see how long he can keep up with. I mean, Damian Maya may be the most specialist type of grappler in the UFC. This guy resembles him in a number of ways. Let's see how he manages this fight against a guy that can do just about everything inside the octagon. Now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch. You better protect that head. Great job securing the Muay Thai clinch. Watch for big knees to the body, and eventually him switch it up with a big knee to the head. Time his shots pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up, keeping busy, being very active. Oh, nice strike landed there by Short. Goes for the early takedown, no problem there. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. All right, got to be careful playing around inside his guard. Absolutely, John. That's why you don't sit in a full guard. When you sit in the full guard, it gives these guys too many opportunities to chase submissions. And now he's jumping on a triangle. Let's go. Get him off. Get him off. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you got to be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom, and if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and rain down big strikes in your All right, so he postures up here, and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. So he lands a double jab there. He continues to work off of that weapon, and you felt like that was a big key for him coming into it. Very important for him to start popping that jab. He's doing it over and over again, and he's finding a ton of success. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Oh, collar tie. Nice strike. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. takedown defense on full display yet again. It's held up for him. He does a fantastic job of squaring up his hips, getting his legs back. This might be the biggest shot of this entire fight. He landed a massive hook to put his opponent on wobbly legs. Beautiful body kick. Well, you start to really worry about the wrestling, and there's that left hand from Peggy. Underrated. I mean, it's a very underrated part of his game, his ability to stand his strike with anybody in the UFC. It's a beautiful, fast foot jab with meaning. Oh, single collar tie here. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Just out of range with the big right hand. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single polo tie. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. And now he's got that tie clinch. Clinch work. And now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch. And I think a lot of people watching wonder how you can control an opponent like that. Hard to get out of. It's very difficult to get out of. Look and notice how tight his elbows are as he's maneuvering and moving his opponent into position where he can get off the strike. Joy gets caught with that. He's hurt. He's hurt. Ooh, big diving punch to the head. All right, half guard position here, DC. You have an extra hop in your step when you talk about fighters working out of this half. Oh, man. I like half guard as a top fighter. I understand half guard as a bottom fighter. Don't want to be there. Right. Very dangerous. But 
if you are there, you have to be winning. The position of the underhook opens up so many opportunities for you to either escape or sweep. All right, so his legendary chin holds up despite getting knocked down in that previous round. DC, take us through the highlight. He's as tough as they come. There has not been a guy that can take shots like this. Most times, the night would be over, and gladly, gladly over after you take a shot like this. But this man is just too tough. Some people say he's too tough for his own good. He would not agree with you. He wants to fight. is inside the octagon. We send it to the veteran voice. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eagle Bees call the stop for this contest. At one minute, 29 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout. And still, the undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world, the Korean Super Bowl, Du Ho Chong. For my money, this is the deepest, toughest UFC division, and the road to lightweight glory still goes through that man's backyard. Congratulations to the champion once again. And he's got a massive fence around that backyard, not letting anybody in. He's not trying to share this title reign. 